please and please do not put your gut anywhere but your mouth do not confuse your vagina for a medicine cabinet or a kitchen cabinet Welcome back to my channel, Teddy Blessings here. Happy New Year. I hope it's going to be a very fruitful year for each and everyone out there. Yeah, so today I'm here with a medical video. Um, I'm going to answer a question. Um, some people have been asking, do home remedies really work for yeast infections? Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, when you get a yeast infection, uh, first of all, you'll be your, the itch. And then secondly, you will be like, um, how do I really get rid of this as fast as I can? You go to the internet and get lots of trendy remedies for yeast infection uh, from apple cider vinegar to essential oils. But the question is, how effective are these treatments and how safe are they? Yes, there is a problem uh, with treating yeast infections uh, at home. The biggest issue is uh, is that self-diagnosis of yeast infection is not really accurate, especially if you've had it for the first time, um, because um, uh, certain bacterial infections, um, some allergic reactions, and some skin conditions usually have similar uh, symptoms and signs like those of um, a yeast infection. So it requires a doctor uh, to give you a conclusive diagnosis of your yeast infection. And if you don't know uh, the signs and symptoms and maybe the cause of yeast infection, I've talked about this in my previous videos. I'll leave um, a link in my description if you haven't watched it before. Then what if um, you've had the yeast infection before and you, you're sure, you have no doubt about what you're treating. Still, your best bet is actual yeast infection medication. And this includes um, antifungals, basically. Uh, they can come in form of pills that you can swallow, and in, form of, in form of pessaries that you can insert in your vagina, and then um, uh, creams like meconazole that you can apply, and you will get relieved of the symptoms and the infection itself. So the best treatment for your yeast infection is actual yeast infection medication as prescribed by the doctor or as advised by the medical doctor. Uh, the only actual remedy, home remedy you can do for yeast infection is do it yourself yeast infection prevention, DIY yeast infection prevention not treatment. And how you can do this, let's do a quick run through it. Some women get recurrent yeast infections, uh, meaning they get um, the symptoms four to five times a year. And if that woman is you, then the idea of sitting in an apple cider um, vinegar bath might not sound so worky. What are the do's and don'ts, I mean? What do you have to do to prevent uh, yeast infections? One, practice good hygiene. Um, shower after exercise. Um, don't wear super tight clothing. Uh, don't sit around in a, in a wet bath suit. And then uh, avoid uh, putting on the pant liners every day because they trap moisture, which can uh, be a good environment for the multiplication of yeast. Then two, do pamper your skin. If you have external irritation on the vulva, apply thick ointments like uh, Vaseline and Aquafa. Uh, these provide a barrier against yeast uh, and then uh, also lessen itching. And then three, maybe consider probiotics. Uh, probiotics contain healthy bacteria that may help uh, keep the levels of yeast in check. Unfortunately, there is no data that um, uh, backs up whether um, eating foods and supplements with probiotics uh, does um, um, make a very big difference in yeast infections. But for most people, trying out does no harm. Yeah, so 
you can try it out uh, look for lactobacillus the bacteria that's found in normal healthy vaginal flora uh, you, you you can find it in yogurt and kefir with uh, live active culture or in pills in tablet form and then for please and please do not put your gut anywhere but your mouth and some women do insert your gut into their vagina which is actually wrong uh, yes the uh, yogurt is made with lactobacillus but even unsweetened yogurt contains natural sugars uh, which can uh, fuel up the growth of yeast infection and cause more problems and then last and not least please don't confuse your vagina with a medicine cabinet or a kitchen cabinet yeah i know the internet will tell you um that introducing things like tea tree oil pessaries coconut oil uh garlic into your vagina um will uh, help clear an overgrowth of uh, yeast in your vagina but there is no solid evidence that these things work, that these DI treatments work. And there's actually a good chance that you'll get burning and irritation. And not to talk about the lost pieces of uh, garlic in your vagina. So these things don't work and they will actually cause more problems. Uh, so DIY home remedies for um, treatment of yeast infection is unknown. If you get yeast infection, please visit your doctor and they'll give you appropriate treatment. Uh, if you get symptoms and signs for yeast infection, whether you know them or don't know them, uh, it's better to see a doctor and they'll make a clear diagnosis of whether it is a yeast infection or it is any other vaginal infection. And there you will be able to treat something that you know and be sure that you're not treating a different infection with i mean a different medication yeah so always take the right drug for the right diagnosis thank you guys for watching see you in my next video bye happy new year